Det er jo, jeg har lige set så smukt et hus i hele mit liv. 450 kvadrat mere, det er jo for stort. Forskellen på at bo sammen og ikke bo sammen, det er, at man, at man kan mærke hinanden, at man kan se hinanden, man kan høre hinanden. Ja, eller også bliver man en lille menneske at bo sødt. Vi skal da bo sammen med nogle mennesker, der kan stimulere os. Vi skal bo sammen med nogle fantastiske mennesker, skal vi ikke? Jeg ved ikke, hvad der er ved. Anna, glem det. Jeg skal ikke bo noget kollektivt, det skal jeg altså ikke. Jeg skal bare have en dejlig dag. 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 Jeg skal bare have Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. I'm Matt Atchity. That is Dave White. That is Christy Lemire. They are going to talk about a movie called The Commune, which I started and didn't finish because I had cool shit to do. The Commune is cool shit. Um, yeah. I wonder how far you got, how far did you get into it? What's the last thing I don't you know, saw? Like 20 minutes. Well. Things got way more interesting after mm -hmm. that. You, yes. missed, you missed all the good stuff. Okay, so um, this is from Thomas Vinterberg, Dogma 95 pioneer, Thomas Vinterberg, and it's sort of based on his youth actually growing up in a commune outside of Copenhagen. So it takes place in the 1970s, and it's about a wife and a husband and their teenage daughter, and they move back into the husband's childhood home after his dad dies, but it's this big rambling place, and they can't afford to live there on their own, and so, the wife, because it's the 70s and why the hell not, suggests let's invite random people to come and live with us to help pay the rent. And random friends come and eventually other people with emotional significance come and they all try to be cool about it and there's a lot of chain smoking and uh, long drunk nights and skinny dipping. It was the 70s, take a look. Yes, I'm MP. It's it Ja, det tror jeg. Ja, du skal gøre det, du skal gøre. Det, der føles rigtigt for dig. Men tag hende med. Jamen, så bytter vi værelser, så kan hun også være der. Hej. Jeg har givet sammen i 15 år, så jeg forstår godt, hun går i stykke. Nå, det første er resten af livet. Og I skal ikke bestemme, hvordan jeg skal leve mit liv. Det skal jeg ikke. Det er mit hus. Ja, men du har... Det er mit hus! Du har givet det her hus til fællesskabet, Erik. Fællesskabet! You like this movie? I did. Yeah? yeah. Why? Uh, well, you know, I like Thomas Winterberg's mm -hmm. uh, approach to human beings. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not afraid of ambiguity. He's not afraid of people having conflicting emotions mm -hmm. in uh, the same moment. Mm -hmm. He's not afraid to show people being sort of casually cruel. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, frankly, he's not afraid of much because mm -hmm. he made the celebration <laughs> back in the 90s. And if you've never mm -hmm. seen that one, uh, it's about a big family get together uh, for, a, for a patriarch's 60, 65th birthday something. And the adult children stand up at the table uh, on the toast at the toast and say, surprise, our father raped all of us when we were children. <laughs> and that begins the movie. Um, so he's, Vinterberg is not afraid of conflict and difficulty and, and, uh, and, and, and people behaving in a volatile way, uh, and also people behaving in ways that you are completely not expecting. Uh, there's an emotional upheaval in the middle of this film. I don't want to give too much yeah. away, um, but, it's done in a very chill Danish fashion. <laughs> and I I like that about him quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, his movies always look very nice. They're, they're uh, and I mean, it's Denmark. Denmark's beautiful. But it's through, <laughs> so through the dogma you, prism right, though, in a lot of ways. Well, but still, he doesn't yeah. do the dogma thing it's anymore. Not, not, not Celebration, verbatim, no. Celebration was a Dogma 95 uh, film. Um, no, he's he's retained those uh, principles. I mean, I in in that it's like understated very and much so. and and not, I'm not sure like that any of them at this point still like verbatim follow the no. manifesto. No. But you know, I think that at its core, aesthetically, they still adhere to the the yeah. the stripped down elements of that style of filmmaking, which makes the emotions kind of pop more. Yes. On this sort of blank tableau, if yeah. you will. Continue. Um, 
It, it stars uh, Ulrich Thompson, who was in the celebration uh, and who was on Banshee. If you all ever saw the show, Banshee, Banshee mm-hmm. uh, Cinemax show about people fighting. It's fantastic, mm-hmm. and uh, and I mean literally fighting constantly. <laughs> this is an action show, really cool. <laughs> uh, Trina Durholm, she's amazing in this. Is incredible in this. She won the Best Actress Award at the Berlin Film Festival mm-hmm. for it. And if you are if if you are going to have any you know I would say she's the real reason to watch this movie mm-hmm. her performance as the wife uh, who instigates the entire situation but then who in the face of the consequences of that decision to form a commune she begins to unravel she comes undone mm-hmm. and it's 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 painful. Right. To watch, and the contrast her. is so great because she she's this TV news anchor, yeah. and so she's really polished and she's really gregarious and beautiful and seems to have everything together outwardly, and yeah, so the, that arc is much more extreme because of where she begins yes. and um, where she ends up because of what were her best intentions and she ends up being punished for them, right? And it's, yeah, it's fast. It's a, it's a really Challenging emotional performance, and she's great in it. It's hard to know if Vinterberg is looking at this idea of communal communal living as something uh, sort of a quaint idea from the past, or if he feels as though you know it's uh, a thing that 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 could never work uh, because it's destructive, the, or that it's inherently <laughs> destructive. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's. It's it's part of a continuum of, of of domestic living situations in a way. This idea mm-hmm. of people like six, seven, eight people all living in the same house, um, and and being something of a family. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I have friends who are in polyamorous relationships, and they seem to be doing well. And I'm not and one of them. You watch, you watch <laughs> uh, the Golden Girls. Do you think that's a good deal? <laughs> you know, they they these friends all living in the same house and taking care of each other. Yeah. That's nice to think about. Uh, but then you see a film like this, you think, no, it could never work. <laughs> but I feel, so, like, I feel like there's some affection because yes. it is based on his childhood. It's inspired by his childhood, and and there are moments here. Where it, it truly is a community and it is a family, and they do look out for each other. And even though they're really disparate and random and would seem to have nothing in common, they do take care of each other and there are moments of joy and yes. abandon. Yes. And it does slowly but surely erode from there. So I, I do wonder what he's trying to say like, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? It can be both. If the film begins, it's quite funny, actually, mm-hmm. as, yeah. they, as they form, uh, you know, the, the wife, Trina, Trina uh, Durham, is saying, I want to. I, I love you, husband, mm-hmm. but uh, I've heard everything you have to say, <laughs> and I want to hear what other people have to say. So let's have a house full of fantastic people. And mm-hmm. she starts naming names, and every name he, she names, he says, "That's not a fantastic." Person. <laughs> and they and they gather the folks together, and then they they do this very stereotypical funny thing: the slow motion walk down the street. Here's our here's our commune. <laughs> We're walking down the street like reservoir dogs. And <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. The little boy in the movie is hilarious because he's six. He has a heart condition, and he's been told repeatedly since birth that he's not going to live to be nine years old. Uh-huh. And so everyone he introduced everyone he is introduced to, he says, "Hello, my name is Vilas, and I'm going to die at age nine. And that's how he introduces himself. Sebastian and, Gronegard is this little kid. Yeah, okay. and um, so it begins. It begins funny and affectionately, and then gets complicated and somewhat dark. Uh, Sounds like life. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, you definitely not unlike Wakefield. You don't know where this is going. I don't think you could ever predict how these relationship, how these permutations are going to turn out. You you can't. Um, mm-hmm. It's it is the most. I would say it's the warmest film I've ever seen from Vinterberg. There you he go. has a That's tendency to be unsentimental, and there's a there's some. It is somewhat sentimental, which normally I, you know, I want to shake off like an itchy sweater, but <laughs> uh, it 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 doesn't feel out of place here. Yes. Okay. So what's your number then? Seven. I'm saying seven point two. So we're at seven point one. It is at seventy two percent. There you go. Yeah. 
and it's what was it limited last week and going what yeah, it might yeah. be yeah it's it's it's, a, it's an art house uh, thing in danish with english subtitles yeah. and uh, but it's good it's a better pirates movie than pirates oh my god bye <laughs>